and welcome to another edition of Bible Study in God's Word. Let me say happy holidays and soon coming Merry Christmas. This will be our last study in God's Word for the year. We won't be back until the new year and we're looking forward to a great time in the new year. So tonight I want to wrap up our Bible studies for the year. I want you to know that I've thoroughly enjoyed bringing you the Word that God has tailor-made for your situation through our opportunity of sharing. Let me thank you so very much for your willingness, family, to tune in each week to this word. You don't know how it's blessing me to know that you're being blessed by the word. I want to encourage you to share these Bible study nuggets with people. They're short, they're powerful, and they're impactful to the lives we live. And I just believe if we would share these words with others, share these dynamic messages, words and study from God, somebody will be blessed and you will glorify God that way. So let's go to work on our last Bible study for the year. Let me invite you to come with me in prayer and let us trust God for what God is about to do in our lives. God, thank you so much for how you brought us together in this format and this way. We welcome you into our our presence and and we look to have you invade our condition as you have all month through advent invade us now manifesting your truth and your light on our path in jesus name we pray amen thank you so much and listen i couldn't think of a better way to close our year out together than this simple subject lessons that this year has taught us lessons that this year has taught us, get this, in the Word. I want to simply say to you that this whole year has taught us different things, and we ought to be reflective as we come to the conclusion of it. Christmas is wonderful because it's God invading our lives and the conditions we live in. We know it as Advent. But what about you reflecting on how God has invaded your condition all year? how God has come into every circumstance you've had and made a huge difference, whether it was to provide light, whether it was to provide provision, whether it was to open a door, no matter what God did in this year from opening doors to healing bodies, trust me, God's been actively invading your space. So what do we think about that? What lessons have we learned about God in God's word? In the short time we've been partnering together weekly, I want you to know that God has revealed some things to us and I just wanna bring them into your focus tonight. The first thing that this year, 2022 has taught us about God and about our journey with God is this, we must have faith. 2022 has taught us that we must have faith. And the scripture simply that comes to this mind from God is simply now faith is the things hoped for, the evidence of what we cannot see. I wanna break that down to you. 2022 has taught us that we must have faith. And the scripture is of course Hebrews chapter 11, known as the faith chapter. And Hebrews is really known as the faith book. That particular verse, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of what we can't see. I did a lot of research about understanding what that verse is and how it impacts the faith that you and I can have. And in the original Greek, I want to read to you, or I want to share with you, translate from the original Greek to what it really means. Now faith is the foundation, and the Greek word for foundation is eupatos, eupatos. The Greek word for foundation is eupatos. That word is used in the scripture, eupatos. And as it's used in scripture, it means, the etymology of the word means foundation. Faith is the foundation of things we hope for. It is the evidence, and the word evidence in Greek actually simply, can you believe this? It's so powerful and I get so excited about it. The word evidence in Greek, is edelosko and that simply means get this reprove rebuke or correct so get this this is how faith in scripture really reads to us now faith is the foundation of things we hope for it is the rebuke the reproof the correction of things we do not see 
We have to have faith. This year of 2022 has taught us that we must have faith. Faith does what nothing else in the year can do or has done. Faith is the foundation on which we stand. We don't stand on money. We don't stand on economic stability. We don't stand on jobs. We don't stand on position. Let me be honest. We don't even stand on our health. We stand on faith. Faith is the foundation by which we shall stand upon. And this year has taught us that everything will fail you but your faith. No matter how small your faith is, no matter how wide your faith is, you have to have faith to get through this year. And for the remaining part of the holiday and the Christmas season, more than money to buy gifts, more than time off to refresh yourself, more than time to concentrate on making relationships count, what we need is faith as our foundation. If you can let faith be your foundation upon which you stand for the rest of this year, I can promise you that God is looking to do extraordinary things through your faith. And what else is faith? It's not only a foundation. It is, get this, it is the rebuke, the reproof, or the correction to what you can't see. Listen, this whole year, God has been doing some wonderful things in your life. And as God has been revealing, exposing, correcting, reproving, rebuking some things, you need to know that God loves you. Our journey with God this year, God has had to correct some stuff in our life about our faith. God has had to correct some of the ways we thought God would move. And, and get this, we've also learned that even though God didn't move the way we wanted, it doesn't mean that God wasn't moving. God corrected some of the ways we perceived God this year, and that's important. God had to re rebuke some of the ways we saw God this year. We expected God to follow the plans that we had for our life, and God has chosen not to follow them this year. What does that mean? That God rebuked some of the things we wanted. We often have to admit we wanted things out of flesh and not out of the spirit. And so God has had to, watch this, rebuke us. And God has had to reprove us. That means that God has had to get you together. And there comes a moment that you and I have had to learn this whole year that God in faith had to get us together. What else has this year taught us? We must have faith. We must also get this family, not just have faith, we must have hope. And you already know, if you don't know what hope is, you need to go back a couple of weeks ago and watch our Bible study on hope. You need to know that hope is trusting in the promises of God to work in your life. We have got to have hope this year. Hope has come through shining colors this year. And I've come to tell you something I have recently accepted about hope. Hope doesn't show up until the situations we're in call for it. Hope is not going to magically appear. It's not going to be sitting on a shelf. Hope will only show up when the circumstances and conditions are right. Get this. How can you identify hope? Hope is like a star. The stars in the sky are always there, are they not? But we can't see them in the day. Likewise, hope is always there, but hope doesn't come out until what? It's dark. And then just like the stars, it lights the sky. I want to share this with you. This year has taught us we not only need faith as our foundation, but family, we need hope. While we stand on faith, how do we see? We see through hope because hope lights our path. Hope is when you and I decide, regardless of what is around us and what we're experiencing, we will trust the promise of God to come true in our life. And as we close this year, that's a lesson that we all have had to learn, that the promises of God are true and we have to trust in them when we cannot trace them. Hope are the stars that provide the light in our life. And this year, I promise you, hope has provided light for you in your path. So let me recap for you. The foundation for this year that we discovered, that this year taught us, is that our foundation must be faith. It's what we stand on. And faith, when it's our foundation, it will take what we don't see and correct our vision, reprove where we have been wrong, and rebuke where we are off. Faith will do that. And secondly, 
after faith is our foundation, guess what? We have hope. Hope, hope will light our path. This year, 2022 has taught us that with hope, we can get through anything because it lights the path that we're on, all right? And so what's left? If you got foundation is faith, you got hope lighting the skies for you to see God at work in your life. With hope, you can look back and see how God has fixed everything for you. Now, what's left? Foundation, faith. Hope lights and provides vision for us. What's left? Love. This year has taught us that we need love. And what is love? The biblical spiritual definition of love is an unconditional presence that abides every moment we are alive and even beyond in the grave. Love is an unconditional presence that abides from birth through eternal life. And I want to share this with you. What love is, is sacrificial. What love is, it's actually a behavior. We throw love around as if it's simple, but love means that we're sacrificing. Love means that we're willing to behave a certain way. Love means we're going beyond our conditions. That's what this year has taught us. And I pray that you understand that going into this week, you need faith as your foundation. You need hope as your vision and you need love to walk it out. Love does what? It's an unconditional presence that comes from birth and never leaves us through even through the grave. And love does what? It's sacrificial and it provides a particular kind of behavior. You can't say you love somebody and it doesn't show up in your sacrifice and it doesn't show up family in your behavior. I am Richard Allen Washington, and it has been such a pleasure to go and close this year out with you. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to trust God for the rest of this year. And let's meet back next year to see what God has in store. Take care, be encouraged, and God loves you, and so do I.